Online privacy, it's such a big topic and complicated in today's growing population where many people are finding loopholes and utilizing it mostly for the bad or for the businesses. Now it's all about data these days, but thankfully there are certain things that you can actually do or at least apps or the company behind it or say the government regulation lets us do to stay away from it or at least to take precautions or measures to protect ourselves from the online leak. In today's video guys, let's look at the Facebook privacy settings and what you need to actually change to protect yourself from leaking or sharing your complete data or information. A lot of the time you may have wondered like from where and how does mobile knows what I'm browsing and the same is being shown on the Facebook as an ads while browsing. You got the point? Like for example, let's say you open up any shopping application like Flipkart or Amazon and search for different products as usual you go for shopping. Let's just say a camera or a kitchen utensil, okay? And you just think, uh, okay, let me buy that later and you just close the application. You may or may not put that item in the wish list or cart of that shopping application, okay? So after a few minutes or hours, what you do is you just open the Facebook and start scrolling like you usually or normally do. Now you will suddenly or say randomly see a post or an ad that suggests you the same or related item which you were looking to buy earlier on that shopping application. And suddenly you'll be like, how did the Facebook know that I was looking for this particular item earlier today on say Flipkart or Amazon, right? Got the point? So that's data sharing for you. So what happens here is the companies or the social media applications opt you in automatically so that the shopping companies target you with their ads better and lure you into buying the items and hence the business. So it's all about the business. Now how to prevent it? Thankfully, like I said earlier, there are some steps that you can actually take uh, to prevent from data sharing or data leak online. So guys, before I begin this video, if you like these kind of videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. Okay guys, let's hop onto Facebook app and then I'll show you some settings over there. So guys, as you are seeing, just earlier today, I browsed the Huawei mobile phones on Amazon and here we are already with that ad. So this is the type of thing that I was talking about. Like the apps really share their data to one another. Like that's the way you get these ads based on what you were actually browsing through. Now how to change that? The first thing you wanna do is to tap on these three stripes and here you'll find, if you go all the way down, settings and privacy, just tap on that one. And here you'll be having two important things. One is settings that will take you to uh, all the settings on Facebook. So the first thing you want to tap is on privacy shortcuts here. Just scroll through like this and here you should see view or clear of Facebook activity, right? As you are seeing here, just tap on this one once. And now this is very, very important thing here. As you can see, I have actually installed these many apps on my mobile phone and it's collecting data like it's sharing data with the Facebook and Facebook is indeed giving me the ads based on the application. So Facebook what it does is collects the data from these applications like what I browse, what I do and what I'm searching for even on Chrome browser or even any uh, silly apps you can say you can just uh, have a look at all these applications like if you just go ahead and actually tap on any app like this and then give your password and sign in there you will be able to see what are the applications using the data of yourself so that is how you can actually see the first thing you want to do is tap on this clear history and here you'll be provided with like here are some things to know like before you uh, actually clear the history of your activity but don't worry just tap on this clear history and once you do that all the history all the data that was collected before will be cleared so this is very very important thing the first thing i want to uh, make sure is to let you know that you clear this one right this is the first thing you'll do and the next one is if you tap on more options here you can actually before clearing itself you can download the information and see it for yourself on mobile phone so it's a html file that uh, will show you actually what it was collecting from what application so that's how you can do access your information and all the facebook related activity are actually hidden over here you can just tap on anyone and look into your activity also so again this is a very nice thing that facebook has done to let you actually opt in or opt out of so i suggest you clear the history first and make sure you do it like uh, monthly ones or weekly ones so that you don't get suggested ads at all and you don't share the data with others that's very important to clear the history you can also manage your facebook activity like manage your off facebook activity off facebook in the sense out of facebook while you use other applications what you do so that's the activity you have here so just tap on that enter your facebook password again which i'm going to do right now and i'll show you 
So once I have done that, all your Facebook activity will be shown up here. And once you see and verify yourself and then just tap on clear history so that everything will be cleared. So this is the first thing you want to do. Okay, moving on. The second important is access your information. There is actually two step authentication which you have to do. Use two factor authentication. Just tap on this one. I have actually made a separate video about this on my I think Hindi channel as well as English. I'm not quite sure. But if it is there, I'll just leave a card somewhere over here. Make sure you watch that and change the settings accordingly anyways here you can see authentication app so use authentication app you can use an another application from Facebook like uh, use any QR code then actually log into this application or I suggest you use the text message so that uh, OTP will be sent to your mobile phone and then you will be able to log in if someone logs into your Facebook account you will be instantly known with email as well as uh, SMS so again I highly recommend that you use two-factor authentication right there is see more privacy setting just tap on this one and here you will be able to see all the activity stuff like if you are allowing any uh, random person to see your posts this is where you decide who can send you friend request who can see your friends list if you just tap on that if you don't want your friends or rather some any random person to see your friends list you just tap on only me which means only you can see your friends list why would you let another people see your friends list right so if that's the kind of person you are then make sure you tap on only me uh, same that way similar you can see what the settings I have set here based on that you can change it also uh, so that's the important thing here again I'm telling you view or clear your Facebook or Facebook activity just tap on that one and make sure you clear all the Facebook activity right now another one see your activity log this is also really important like what are the things that you are doing who commented who actually liked your post and all the stuff will be there you can actually go there and see if there is something fishy like uh, you didn't actually like that post but someone else does then you will find it fishy and then just go ahead and change the password right away another one add preferences you can just tap on this one see your ad settings here again this is also based on your personal preference the ads will be shown again as you are seeing here ads based on the data from the partners again the same thing involves here as you will see if you allow us to use data from partners you can either allow tick or uh, cross mark just tap on continue allowed you can just go ahead and turn off the switch which is really really important as well so if you are the kind of person who just feels that ads are annoying just go ahead and switch this off right then tap on save make sure you tap on save otherwise it won't be saved similarly ads based on your activity on Facebook company products that you see elsewhere again you just tap on that one and make sure you tap on no that's the thing you want to do ads that include your social actions my friends only like what are the social action you are liking their posts you are commenting on their posts so all the stuffs will be there here and based on that you can just go ahead and tap on no one not your friends also right guys so this is very important setting I highly recommend that you just go ahead and change this one if there are any other important settings let us know in the comment section so that we make this a very good community as well you can like my Facebook page all right guys I hope this video was helpful to you if yes please like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel I will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye